This video introduces a new care method for microtrauma. Microtrauma occurs when strain from normal performance damages connective tissue. Nagging injuries like turf toe, tendonitis, and tennis elbow result when mildly injured tissue experiences repeat performance strain, causing chronic injury that eventually limits performance. Stale injury occurs when a recently healed tendon or ligament has a weak spot. This new tissue is more vulnerable to microtrauma because it's not as tough as nearby mature tissue yet. This tender flexibility naturally concentrates strain in these softer, more flexible areas which accumulates into strain injury more rapidly than in surrounding tougher, mature tissue. These areas are also structurally weaker, adding repeat injury vulnerability. These conditions remain until the new tissue hardens, and this often takes much longer than medical images indicate and performance schedules allow. Uh, C.J. Mosley, defensive tackle for Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, before that, I was in Cleveland, and uh, the 11th game of the season smashed my ankle up pretty bad. As you can see, um, broke my ankle here the other day. Repair. Uh, what's, what's that called? The del deltoid tendon or ligament right there, and I had a plate right here, mm -hmm. and happened. I had surgery uh, sometime. I think maybe like the December thirteenth around there of uh, '09, and as you can see, it's still pretty swollen, and we think that's from maybe some scar. Well, a lot of scar tissue. That I have in there, and I've been working pretty hard at it. But I'm here to see my good friend there to help me out, man, and make things all better. So he wanted me to walk around, and it's pretty good and strong now. Um, just sometimes, I guess, when I don't move it a lot, it might get stiff, mm -hmm. stiff on me. So, and right now, a major concern the area right now is right in here where I tore my deltoid tendon ligament if you can listen. Yeah, let's get it up. Move it around. You can hear it. Yep. So Okay, well let's see if we can get it better. Our proprietary microtrauma therapy upregulates cellular energy in the trauma zones. This accelerates natural resolution of microtrauma by helping the body to heal faster. This method is so effective that most athletes with nagging or stale injury can resume a reasonable performance schedule immediately. This method reduces inflammation and discomfort and improves range of motion within minutes. It triggers ongoing tissue regeneration that continues for about 30 days. It rapidly stabilizes connective tissue weak spots within days or weeks and increases the physical nutrient and energetic flow to the damaged tissue. Performance athletes often prefer microtrauma therapy to anti-inflammatory methods because relief is immediate. The results tend to be cumulative and yield permanent improvement within three sessions. Their joints maintain normal sensory and reflex performance, and they observe rapid restoration of joint performance, stability, and escalating injury resistance. Caution. Tissue hardening for a stale injury takes time. There is no evidence that the technique immediately hardens connective tissue. Microtrauma therapy has several cellular effects. It increases cell energy, it mobilizes injury waste, it improves nutrient and oxygen delivery, and it distributes the healing zones across the damaged tissue. Microtrauma is a cycle where performance stress causes damage that increases stress that causes more damage. The cycle has two main variables, the rate of damage and healing speed. Many, if not most, competitive sports participants manage their performance by pain level. First, there's the no pain stage, where microtrauma accumulates until pain starts. Second, 
there's the painful performance stage, when pain limits performance but not enough to inhibit competition. Microtrauma accumulates much more rapidly during this stage. Finally, they reach the no performance stage where pain limits performance below their competitive threshold and the participant is forced to rest and recover. Athletes that heal fast accumulate less microtrauma and perform better for longer. Ideal athletes perform in the first stage without pain and without cumulative microtrauma. The pain versus performance model exists mostly because there's no reliable and safe way to accelerate healing until now. Microtrauma therapy works because healing happens faster and damage happens slower. It's that simple. Connective tissues do not have a regular blood supply. As a result, they have special and largely unrecognized requirements for healing. This explains why connective tissues tend to heal slowly and incompletely without microtrauma therapy. Microtrauma therapy addresses the special requirements for healing connective tissue. Number one, they directly upregulate cell energy in these tissues. Number two, they optimize the extracellular fluid viscosity to get the garbage out and nutrients in. Number three, they supply negative electrostatic charge which helps to disperse both pathogens and toxins. Number four, it supplies oxygen by nonvascular routes that do not rely on the vascular system. Number five, it initiates a distributed healing matrix throughout the microtrauma zone. This combination of effects substantially decreases healing time. A typical microtrauma therapy session takes about an hour. A session usually employs several proprietary technologies that deliver energy, nutrients, and oxygen to stress-injured connective tissue. These high-performance technologies were developed and are exclusively distributed within the whole health network. They include specialized PEMF devices, EPADs, and oxygen systems with performance characteristics that substantially exceed other seemingly similar products. So if you're a performance athlete with aggressive competitive goals or just a regular person who wants your body to work better, the Whole Health Network is the world's leading developer and distributor of advanced health technology. You know what? Hmm. I'm flexing. We heard all that noise. Yeah, it's quite a bit quieter. So who's Feels a lot looser right now. Well, we gave you yeah. Earlier, so a little timid from trying to walk my big toe. Are to you able to stand no. on your big toe? And I no, I have no. Yeah, let's see that. No. All right, I understand that. Yes, you do. Like, I can't feel any pain on my big toe right now. No, oh, that was a turf toe issue? Yes. All gone? All gone. I'm trying, I'm really trying to put a lot of pressure on there to find mm -hmm. that sore spot and I can't find the pair to be No, that's going to be perfect. When you travel with it, she'll keep going to fall along. So, this is really nothing short of amazing. Contact us to find out more about how these technologies can help you perform and live better and longer and have more fun.